All right, hey, what's up, guys? All right, quick video for you. Um, I was messing around with this uh, Arduino IoT thing, and uh, I wanted to add this Messenger widget to uh, the thing I was working on. And I kind of tried to research it, and there's like no documentation on it for whatsoever. So uh, yeah, it was a bit frustrating. Um, so I did lots of searches, and I kind of figured some stuff out, so I'm basically just gonna share that with you right now. Okay, yeah, so I was hoping there'd be pretty much like something like a, like a serial dot print command, but uh, no, it, they don't have that, and it doesn't work like that at all, which is a bit frustrating, so uh, let's get into it. Okay, so like if you found this, uh, you probably know kind of what you're doing, uh, so uh, I'm just going to kind of walk you through the rest of the way, and basically uh, we want to start, we want to make sure we, we set up a variable which the messenger can read, so in this case... Uh, uh, we're doing, I'm going to call this message, and we're doing something uh, which is a character string. So it could read like letters and words and stuff like that. So after we set that up, uh, I'm going to add a button on here uh, just for some stuff we're going to do later. Okay, so after you've got that set up, uh, we'll go to the dashboard and we'll create the messenger widget. And we will connect the variable which we just created to it. And I'm going to do the same for the button. Okay, so we'll look into the sketch and uh, basically uh, first we'll go, if we look into the button, uh, so I'm going to make it when you press this button, um, it will print something on the phone. Uh, so basically I'm just going to do a quick like a if statement over here. So yeah, if the button is pressed, I'm just going to say button pressed. So that changes the variable. And since there's a change, it basically uh, you change that variable and then it's going to print it up onto your phone. OK, we got the sketch all loaded up. So basically, uh, when I press this button, it will tell it to run the command, which basically changes the variable of message. Uh, it will say button pressed, and then it'll send it back um, to the IO to the IoT cloud, and then back onto my phone, and it will say button pressed. So let's give that a try. Okay, there you go. But uh, yeah, I just kind of wish they did a serial dot print command uh, because the problem is this only works when that variable changes. So if I press this again. Nothing happens because it's basically it just keeps turning that variable to button press, button press. So there was no change, so nothing happens. Um, but if you, I don't know, if you change the variable, so if if I type something, and then so it changes the variable to something. So and then if I press, if I push the button again. Okay, button pressed. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, I wish, I don't know, maybe they'll figure something out later. Uh, but I guess you guys, and I have to figure something out as well, because this is not what I want to happen. Um, yeah, I don't want to have to change the variable every time I want to uh, send something to my phone. So, yeah, I don't know why they did this, but it is what it is. Okay, but yeah, that's sending a message to your phone. Uh, let's go the other way around, and we are going to send a message from uh, the f from your phone, iPad, whatever, uh, to the ESP32, and it will, um, it will do some stuff over there. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the sketch, and on that on change command with the messenger, uh, basically I'm just going to create like a if command, and basically if I type in, I don't know, let's say turn LED on, it will turn this LED on. Um, and if I uh, also add in turn LED off, it will turn the LED off. So uh, yeah, let's upload that. Okay, we got the sketch uploaded. So basically when I type in LED turn on, it will change that variable, uh, which it will read to, for the if statement and it will turn on the LED on. So let's give that a try. And what I did was it was like lowercase t, so I got to make sure 
that matches. So I type in turn LED on and I send it over and boom, there you go. Okay, uh, the problem is though, yeah, it's gotta, you gotta make sure it matches. So if I type in uh, turn LED off and uh, I have it, I have that capital T, nothing happens. Uh, so yeah, you gotta make sure it matches. Again, you can do some other coding stuff to make it, to fix it, but okay, so lowercase t, whoops. Okay, boom, there you go. All right, so yeah, there you guys go. Um, how to write to Messenger and how to uh, read the commands. Uh, this is just a start, but I hope you got, I hope this saved you some time because I wasted a lot of time trying to figure this out and I wish they did a better job of making this easier for us. But uh, there you guys go. All right, take care.